Hi. Hi. How are you on this rainy day? Oh, you know, trying <laughs> to stay warm oh, and dry. <laughs> so Mark, you are, like already know what a massive fan I am of Hourglass, but it's so nice to see everything together out on the table like this. Yeah, you really see how yeah. even the design of the product yeah. all comes together. It's such a beautiful thing to not only have something nice to look at, it's really easy to use, it feels amazing in your hands. It's, you know, we are a cruelty-free mm -hmm. luxury beauty brand. And that, I, I think, just sets us apart from so many of the others. Yeah. I think I've tried the majority of the line over the years. And then obviously you keep introducing new things, which is why we're mm -hmm. here today. Yep. So I'm excited to try the new Vanish uh, foundation. But um, everything I've used, I think it's, it's great. And that's not always the case with every True. brand. Obviously Van the Vanish liquid foundation is what we're really gonna be demonstrating with me today, but it yes. started as a stick. As a stick. Which today I've discovered I've been using. You've been using more product A little product heavy than handed need. than I needed to. <laughs> Um, so it's just things like that that are really great at the, yeah. you know, for me to get to sit down and like have the opportunity to really talk through everything. I feel really excited. I'm going to learn a lot. So, first things first, you have to do it on moisturized skin. Okay. I'm not a big primer girl. Right. Some I just don't aren't. want to like add another thing another in, step. and I feel like I like to use my moisturizer and then like not add primer. Right. Can you use primer with Vanish? So, that's what's new and different you do not need a primer with this Okay, at so all. this is a good foundation yes. for me then. So all you have to do is use your favorite skincare, your mm -hmm. favorite moisturizer, and you just apply this yeah. straight on to the okay. skin. And it actually works better that way. Okay. So I'm using uh, something that is really hydrating. This is Kate Somerville's uh, Dermal Quench Wrinkle Warrior. So it's kind of weird because uh, it's, it's a like foamy aer texture. It's aerosol. Yes. But what's nice is when you apply it, you just get this beautiful hydration on the skin. So here's the really important thing mm -hmm. about Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation, mm -hmm. if we say the whole name. <laughs> we know that the stick has become super iconic. Yeah. So it's become such an iconic formula that we wanted to provide another formula. And our founder, Carissa, mm -hmm. she's super keen on listening to what clients are asking mm -hmm. for and what their needs are. And some people just like liquids, mm -hmm. plain and simple. Yeah. So this formula is insane because it provides instant full coverage. And I mean instant mm -hmm. and I mean full. And, okay. So the great thing about that though is you use less product to do a lot more. Right. So if I show you just half a pump. Wow. That's all you're going to That's going to be for my whole face? For your whole face. Okay. And just take a look at this, even just rubbing it in to my hand. So Look now I pigment. see why you would only want a little because it really is full coverage. It's really full coverage. Okay. We are going to dot onto the face first. Mm -hmm. That is super key because you want to keep all of the pigment level mm -hmm. directly on the skin. Okay. So instead of picking it up as we normally would yeah. and kind of controlling yeah. it that way, we're going to control it by dotting onto the skin first and then blending it in. And where do you dot? Anywhere that you want the most coverage. Okay, so there's not like a kind of face chart to it, then you do three here or five down the jawline. It's just where you feel that you need the coverage. Where you feel you need the coverage. If I were to say overall you just are worried about a little redness through the mm -hmm. face, then it's just the five dots yeah. here. But that's not everyone's mm -hmm, case. Mm -hmm. So really target where you want to build the coverage first. So then we're going to take, like you were saying, it's sort of a buffing type brush. Mm -hmm. It's something that has a little density, but mm -hmm. what I prefer is something that also has flexibility. Okay. So Vanish is great, but it's gonna pack on more pigment. Yeah. It's gonna build up that coverage. The number two brush that we have is great if you're just looking for that kind of feathered application. Mm -hmm. You know you want the coverage, but you don't want to see the makeup. Right. This is where you go. I would never use that little foundation and like <laughs> slap it on. So I'm so heavy handed. I'm always like doing my makeup in a rush. I'm glad and I got so, to show you first. Like the big takeaway for me today is going to be less is more. Less is more. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to show you how much I would typically use a foundation without even like... Whoa! Is it for you and your family? <laughs> <laughs> If I didn't tell you, yeah. would that be the first thing you would do? That would be the first thing I would do if you didn't tell me. And then probably what I would do 
is use it and go, I don't like it. It's too full right. coverage. It's too heavy. Right. It's too, you know, it's too cakey. Which I'm actually and really so glad you I bring that like up. I feel like now what I need to do is like le less is more. Take a look. Yeah. The it's other thing so I. It's so pretty. It's like glowy and dewy and has got great coverage. So I want to ask you though, yeah. does it feel heavy? No. I literally feel like I've got moisturizer on, that's it. That's literally yeah. the biggest difference, is it's completely weightless. Yeah. You've used our Veil yeah. translucent setting powder. I love the setting powder. The whole experience with I the mean... setting powder from opening it up, I mean, then I tap the end of the brush there to get it to yep. kind of come out through the, to, through the holes. Because the translucent setting powder is made with diamond powder, it adds radiance to the skin, mm -hmm. but it also sets makeup. We're going to use what's left over on my hand, which remember how little I use, mm -hmm. and there's still this much left over. And I'm going to pick up our concealer brush. And you're using the same brush that you just used on my... I'm using a different brush. Clean brush, okay. Mm -hmm. A clean concealer brush. It's a large concealer brush. And I'm going to mix it in to create pretty much my own concealer. Oh, wow. And we're thinking about how, how could you build, how do you build coverage and use the same product? Yeah, because usually I find with a foundation, it might be about watering it down, not watering it down, but making Diluting it thinner. Diluting it, yeah. I see that all the time, but yes. I've never seen anyone like Build it up by Build using it up powder, more. so that's really... When, when you have a really good powder, yeah. like Veil, it's really easy to do. Yeah, and it doesn't look cakey at all, which is surprising given that you put powder I in know. there. I know. I was a bit like... Hmm. It's a little freaky. It's either going to work or not. I know. <laughs> It'll be an epic flop right in front of Rosie. Oh, boy. What I love as well is that it's... Um, it looks really dewy, but it's full coverage, and mm -hmm. I often find like full coverage makes me feel matte, and it almost looks powdered already. Like but immediately. To see this like this shine still, or this like glowiness is that's always what I'm looking for. Yeah. I'm gonna use our veil brush to apply the translucent powder all along the T-zone. Mm -hmm. Are there any areas that you don't powder on the face? Because I know I like I powder through my T-zone, down my nose, chin, and then I do my jaw, but I always, and I do leave under my cheeks. eye, but I always leave this sort of yes. area out because that's where I want to look glowy. I generally would yeah. agree. I would say make sure that you have some point of natural glow. For brows, we're going to use our arch brow sculpting pencil. I'm very familiar with this product. I felt that you started in the middle of my brow then. I did. The reason being, I think most people want maximum lift and they want to structure the brow first. Mm -hmm. And so if I start there and then work my way back, then mm -hmm. I'm not over applying in the, okay. at the head of the brow. I brought my brow game for you today. Yes, okay, it's good. all working today. <laughs> okay, should we set it with some yes. gel? You already have plenty of color and definition, so we're just going to use the short side to coat, mm -hmm. but we're going to finish off with the long side to make sure that we still get those, you know, hair textures. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then it leads us to eyes, which, mm -hmm. as we already talked about, mm -hmm. is super simple. So I used this one on holiday, and I was drawn to this one more because I felt like um, this one probably feels... Actually, I want to try them on my hands. Okay. What I think is a big difference between these two though, like you said, classic, but then Blaze has a little more dimension mm -hmm. to it. So as you blend it out, yeah. you're kind of getting different tones, yeah. which make it look like you've done a lot more than you actually have. I mean, just look at that like... I mean, do you notice that I'm using more of a pressing motion? Yeah. It's so amazing how like just a little wash of color can really change or enhance mm -hmm. your skin tone or your eyes color. Hair, it's, it is amazing. It's literally just brightened you up. I'm going to tight line under the upper lash line next. Under the upper lash line? Yes. So okay. go under the, the actual lashes. And I'm using our 1.5 mechanical gel eyeliner. Mm -hmm. We're talking about sort of that minimalist look. And when you just tight line a little bit into the lash line, it really changes the depth. And, and the effect along the lash mm -hmm. line. So tell me about this mascara, it's Caution. Oh gosh, this caution. is new. You launched this last we year? We launched it last yeah. year, middle of last year. And it is just 
the best mascara to add instant volume. You get a 400% volume in one coat. Okay, do you want some of the bronze? Yes. Yes. 100%. Okay. So you're using the fine, um, is it zero? 1.5. 1.5. These guys just glide on. And what color is this? It's, it's a, called bronze. Is it, it's a bronze. Mm -hmm. So it's not really a, yeah, it's very light. And because it has a hint of shimmer in it, it even softens it yeah. that much more, so you really can't overdo it. Which is good for me. Look, all we have to do, I'm gonna add a little bit of ambient lighting powder okay. to the skin, give you a little blush. So tell me how you use these then. Okay, this is our ambient lighting palette. Mm -hmm. It's uh, designed to be used either all together, mm -hmm. you can use one color at a time. So this isn't, a bronzer. This is considered to be like a finishing powder, finishing powder. like highlighter yeah. finishing powder. It's like your perfecting powder. Okay. Any rules with highlighter? Don't overdo it. Yeah. Here's your your tip for the day, Rosie. Is less any is more. less is more, and if you want more control, just pack the color yeah. into the brush first. Yeah. That gives you ultimate control. And these bronzers, they, these come in a couple different colors, they right? They do. There's two or three? There are four. Four, okay. Yeah. So the this is the one I have. Luminous. And um, and I think I have a slightly darker one as There's well. One but this, they're really they're really high pigment. Yes. And where do you like to focus your bronzer? So I would put it through here on the cheeks and then up into the temples along my jawline, and then I always usually pop like a little bit into the eye socket. Mm-hmm. I was gonna do that Usually that gives me touch. like a little bit of dimension and it pulls all the colors in in a natural way, so. Yes. Is there something you would say like Hourglass really stands for with like the application of makeup or the finish of how something looks or the, the techniques? And it's like, like a funny question. No, yeah. And I think that there are definitely brands that are clearly defined, yeah. right? They have a look and that's yeah. it. And at Hourglass, for sure, it's all about complexion. I okay. mean, that that is the staple of all makeup, yeah. as we know. So when your skin looks good, mm -hmm. everything else is kind of secondary. Easy, yeah, I agree. It's, it's easy. There are a lot of different textures now, and now with Vanish Liquid, you have another option to play with, to add into your wardrobe of foundation mm -hmm. that, you know, again, less is more. Mm -hmm. But if you're gonna use less, let it actually make a difference. Yeah not just be sheer textures that yeah. don't do anything. I, I love a good pop of color that's used softly. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, I love it so much. And all we have to do is pick, pick a lip. Pick a lip. These have just launched and there are five shades. People have been asking forever for tinted 28 lip treatment oil. Love the way this feels. Yes. It's so, um, I don't know, there's just something so nice about the it's application of this soothing. because of the applicator. Yeah. But I literally will sit in the car at the traffic light and I have to go <laughs> round and round and round. So and round if any pages. of you out there ever pull up next to Rosie, <laughs> you know what she's doing. So there's some there's a special ingredient ingredient in our lip oil called Volulip, and it helps restore shape and volume, but you also get essential oils, rich lipid plant oils and vitamins A, B, C, E. Everyone can see she is a pro at this. Am I? You know how to use it. Well, <laughs> I'm telling you, I sit in the car like this. Well, it is 24 karat plated gold. I think that's... Cool, I love it. That's it's such like awesome. my dream go-to makeup that I would do on myself. <laughs> And it's really cool. It looks really effortless, but kind of glam, and it looks unique and special at the same time. Yeah. So I love it. And my, I feel like my skin looks really dewy and radiant. Like I love the, I love the way that the um, scattered lights just plays on. You know, has like a real. It's, there's something fun about it yeah. for me. And then the lip is just so easy to wear. And then I'm just thrilled with the Vanish Liquid Foundation. I think it looks incredible. Oh, 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 oh,